Stonehill Farm, home to one of the most beautiful houses in Kent. Stonehill Farmhouse is said to be haunted by a ghost of an old woman who is said to have lived there many years ago. The house remains untouched and beautiful, with its fruit tree orchard, beautiful masses of land, four spacey bedrooms. The owners of the house, who are long since gone, but the creaks and the stairs and the banging on the walls add to the suspicion of something more mysterious and supernatural. With its beautiful and convenient features, such as an indoor well, basement and pantry, the house seems almost perfect. Oh, when I opened that cupboard, I felt something Which in that room right there. This one here? Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> some of the rooms are quite warm actually. Yeah. Yeah, that's you know that's that's the thing. It is you know you get to feel it, don't you? And the cold rooms always something or something moving yeah. in it anyway. Home, I don't know if you've noticed a little window at the top there. Oh yeah, yeah. The tiny little window. Yeah, I, I looked at that. Oh, that's in the attic. I thought I saw something. Yeah, that, that was my first initial when I pulled up. I looked straight up and I thought I'd seen someone stood there looking at me. There's one around the back as well, isn't there? Like a more wider window at the back yes. of the house. Yeah. Is there any other ways to tell whether it's a ghost other than the temperature? Only by sort of what we would do, we'd all get together, it'd be a group of us, like I said, but normally we have a woman called Nina and she'll walk into the room and she'll start sensing that there's something in there and then she will do the talking and find out what it is. Well, why they're there and what they want. The shadows, which is on the island, then things like that. Yeah. Or you can get, where you, have you ever had a feeling where you think you've walked into a cobweb and you're doing that in your face? Yeah. Yeah, yeah? that's, that's a, a touch, that's someone touching you. Yeah. I've heard like a, I don't know whether it's a myth or not, that demons in corners of rooms. I just heard a growling behind me, carry on. <laughs> Do you have like demons in the corners of rooms? Is that like a myth or is that? I would have said that's more of a myth, yeah. to be perfectly honest with you. I mean, demons, do they really exist? You know what I mean? It's, yeah. you know, it's different ways of sort of, you know, the demons. No, I'm not believing demons are afraid. <laughs> What we do is, is investigate, so we go into um, different properties that people have said that they've heard a bang, noise, a scratch. Uh, we go in, set up equipment, and spend the night there investigating, basically. Oh, this has been ongoing for me since, if I said, I've been investigating for 10 years. Right, that was um, an investigation we did and obviously I became very, very dizzy, very sick, um, as if I was feeling drunk. And basically the medium that we had with us uh, indicated that the woman who passed away there, who was still there, I just didn't believe she was dead, was an alcoholic. So I was getting a sensation of what she would do. Some, some of it is, yeah. If you, if you can get taken over to the point where you have to be taken out of the building and sort of brought in and out, because if you get too deep within it, you can get too hooked up and you can get overtaken, and then you have to get your medium to bring you out of it. It has to be done really quickly as well. Can you be possessed? Never really been possessed, um, but sort of sensation, yeah. So when were you at the house? What was the date? What, when we came here? Yeah. Oh, that must have been... I think that November of last year it would have been. With the team, they communicated in the way of noise, noise and atmospheric, because basically, as you know yourself, when you've touched it, it's cold, so they, they deal with us that way. We uh, dealt with it in the way of asking them to knock to see if they were there, so that's really the way they did it. And obviously, the photograph of the orbs, so that sort of proves that it's something within the yeah. building. Is it something that you do all the time then? No, this isn't my full-time job, this is just a, 
thing that I do for my own sort of, sort of self. Do you feel any accomplishment in finding anything? Oh yeah. Has there been times when you haven't found anything? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. We got called into properties before now and they were convinced they've got ghosts to say and uh, they've got nothing at all.